Hello, in this Dr. Spotfire quick tip video, I'll be talking about jQuery and jQuery UI. I'm Jose Libiaguirre from Tipco Data Science Team, and in this particular video, I'll be covering how to properly use jQuery and jQuery UI in your Spotfire dashboard analysis. jQuery is a cross-platform JavaScript library to make HTML manipulation easy through JavaScript coding, and it also has many shortcuts and methods to create animations, show or hide objects, change attributes, or classes. It has a little bit of user interface capabilities, but it's more for the backend. And jQuery, on the other hand, we have it here. It's a curated set of user interface interactions, effects, widgets, themes to build that uh, themes uh, that these are built up on top of jQuery. And with jQuery, you can create draggable elements, perform sophisticated effects, and create widgets like accordions, day picker, dialog pop-ups, progress bar, etc. Here's an example. I have my accordion here in my widgets, and this is how the widgets look. Like it's very popular in JavaScript. In sorry, in Spotify is very popular to use this accordion so you can put your elements there and whatnot. So early versions of a Spotfire uh, uses jQuery and jQuery UI, but in recent versions of a Spotfire, jQuery UI was removed. Uh, the jQuery library, the core library is still there, but we don't know if it's gonna be removed in future versions. And for that reason, I want to show you how to include your versions of jQuery and jQuery UI. So here, here I have a very basic version of jQuery being used in this Spotfire. All I have here is a text area and two buttons. The first button here, which I included the, the style, it's my button. This is it's not really a button, it's just a span element with some styles. And then I have uh, another div element with some styles that is just going to, maybe you can here put your Spotfire controls or, or whatnot. But when I click this, it's going to show or hide. I have no reference the jQuery, the, the jQuery core library here because it's embedded in Spotfire. On the other hand, if I try to use this jQuery UI accordion, which I have some elements embedded and I'm expecting to see some kind of accordion, it's not working and this probably happens with uh, in, in early versions that it was happening because the J, uh, jQuery UI was embedded, but now it's not, so now we have to add it and I'm going to show you how. So here, there is a typical community article that explains step-by-step step how to include your own instances of jQuery and jQuery UI in text areas. So I'm gonna guide you through that. And let's start now by copying this code into a new script. I go to copy and go back here and create a new script that is gonna be called jQuery and jQuery UI. I can put the versions there. So right now I just copy the code and follow the instructions, install jQuery. So jQuery library goes here. So I am going now back to my browser and go to this content delivery network. I can search for uh, jQuery and I copy the link of this version 361, copy the link, open a new uh, tab and copy the entire code of jQuery. That's all I need to include jQuery properly right here and paste. That's all I did. I copy everything there. Make sure when you copy the, the, the script, you get the minimized version so it can be in one line. Now let's include jQuery UI. I go back to my browser and look for jQuery UI. This is the version that I want. Let's open it to see what else we have here because we will need some dependencies later on. So I'm looking for this JavaScript file, the minimum, copy the URL, paste it here. And now I have everything I need. Select all, copy, go back to my uh, script and paste jQuery UI here. And now I have jQuery UI embedded. It added a couple of, of functions, but that's fine. I can just uh, name this script. Now the last step is to include the theme that you're gonna use through your analysis. I like to leave this part on a different script, but I'm going to just put it here just for simplicity. So here we have to add the code for the CSS theme, I'm going to um, go back to my browser and here look at the, we have different themes. I have the base, the black, the Cupertino. Well, let's start off with the, with the base theme. Okay, let's copy that, paste it here. And again, select everything, copy. And this is just a tricky part. I'm going back to my Spotfire and here, because it's a, it's a text that is being appended in some container ID, I need to put these um, back brackets or back quotes and then paste and everything has to be between them. This is just escaping any weird character that is in the CSS, but 
that, that's all we need. So the, 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 uh, that's, uh, that's all we need. And uh, now we have one more step to do. <clears throat> and I am going to uh, just comment this line for a moment. Basically, the, the theme is being ignored at this point. I'm going to uncomment that in, 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 in the later explanation. So now that I embedded this jQuery uh, UI, you can see that it still works the same. There's no impact. But in future versions, if jQuery is not supported anymore by Tipco, your, your jQuery script is going to work regardless. Now let's go to the jQuery UI. So I'm getting a bunch of errors, and probably this happens when you migrate from one version to another because it's looking for the jQuery UI that is not here. But since we added the, uh, the script on the previous page, I'm going to add it now again here. And that's the one that we, that we need. So now we added it, and now it's kicking, and you can see there. So now let's, let's put some uh, styles or one of these themes that we were talking about. Uh, so my placeholder is uh, it's going to be style. I have a, a, a div element called style, and here I'm going to to inject the CSS from the uh, jQuery UI library. So I go here and edit, go to the bottom of, of my page and look for this style of content ID. I can define it here. Um, well, just uh, I can just put here style. So this is making a reference of this element and is uh, injecting all the CSS here. When, when I click OK, and I click OK again, it's, uh, it's doing nothing. Maybe because I am need to use a different style. So, oh, because, sorry, I commented on that line. So I, I need to uncomment. OK, click OK. Let's see if I have the, the, the basic. There we go. I have the basic. The basic style looks like that. If I want to use a different theme, I just go to the page and change a different style and then and then you can play with it. Let me show you how it looks real quick. Right here, I'm going to replace, replace, go back to my browser real quick and then let's uh, take a look at the, the theme, the black tie theme. Okay, copy, paste, control A, copy, go back to my spot fire and replace that, click okay. And now I have a theme, uh, different theme. And I can play around with different themes, but that's the basic concept. So there you have it. Now you can uh, use jQuery and jQuery UI in your analysis the proper way. Thank you. And it's worth mentioning that the use of jQuery or any other JavaScript library framework is not supported by Tico support. So always use it at your own risk um, and uh, just like, share, and subscribe for more quick tip videos. Mm -hmm.